Welcome to new session of UG and extend sheet metal design. We are in chapter 2.2 and in this chapter we are going to deal about how to do uh, preference settings for sheet metal when you open a new file. Open a new file and click on file and then click on under preference click on sheet metal so you can edit the settings. Once you click on the uh, settings you will get this dialog box wherein you can under the pro part properties under parameter entry you can see a radio button Def by default it's value entry uh, this parameter parameter entry is mainly to define thickness bend radius relief depth relief width neutral uh, factor value bend table bend elements etc there are three methods of uh, inputting these values one is editing uh, entirely editing the all the parameters in the set settings box and next is by uh, selecting a material uh, uh, choosing a material which is already set in the library and fin finally uh, selecting a material based on the tool ID first let's discuss about value entry that is 4a here once you uh, select this radio button you need to enter all these details uh, material thickness and bend radius is so obvious that I need not explain it greaterly relief depth is the dis distance between uh, this edge and this point relief depth and relief width is the clearance between these two walls and bend definition method here we need uh, there are three main three options one is defining neutral factor value and next is from the bend table you, ha you can choose the bend definition method and finally defining the uh, bend elements using a formula this neutral factor value is nothing but the k factor which I have already explained in chapter 1 then bend table is is a table which we have created ready-made table where we have defined all the uh, all the values of neutral factor based on the thickness uh, bend angle etc and in bend allowance formula you generally uh, the general formula is angle into pi by 180 uh, into R plus KT the same thing explained written here on the words this you can edit just edit the K factor or you can en edit the entire if you have a different formula of uh, bend elements you can load that next based on the um, uh, parameter entry we are going to material selection and when you uh, click that radio button you will get this dialog box and here there will be a lot of uh, available material in the material library which is already fed few are default and if you want to edit those uh, material library you can go to the uh, folder where you have saved UG base directory then go to UG II and then materials then in materials library you can find sheet metal material table dot text you just need to open that and enter all the details which you want the details which you are going to enter should be whether this is bare or clad what type of material is it thickness bend radius neutral factor joggle radius etc this is the file I was talking about in previous slide so open this file if you want to create a new new if you want to add a material to the library you just open this file and enter the details here and save it once you save it the uh, material up library gets updated and you can see the material in this area and select that and use the parameters which you have set next is uh, 
tool ID in in uh, in in a company there are high possibility that there are a lot of bending dies made uh, you can uh, once the tool is re re readily available you can use the tool ID to define the bend radius angle of that tool set this tool as library and you can extract uh, the part during the product development you can extract this tool ID and all the parameters which are fed in the library will appear so uh, you, you need to go if you want to enter a new tool ID you have to go to the same uh, path open the sheet metal material table.txt and enter the tool details next is uh, flat pattern treatments the flat pattern treat treatment is edge treatment uh, of the flat one once a product is developed and when you do a flat pattern process if you want to define what type of corners you want to keep that is either it's it's an outside corner or an inside corner um, there are two three options you can chamfer it you can fillet it or you can leave it as it is so in this case if you want to chamfer what is the value you are going to specify once you specify that and click OK once the mo model is defined and you do a flat pattern automatically the edges gets chamfered for example this is the component which uh, is developed and once it is flat patterned you can see the edges here are chamfered next setting is uh, colored configuration colored configuration nothing but uh, to define which all parameters you want to show in in the uh, while you are doing the detailing of that component so for example I have set hole diameter to be easily called out when I am doing the detailing so uh, so this is one example wherein uh, I, I selected the feature and the call out note appear so it becomes very handy when you do the detailing of the product you don't need to feed all the uh, notes here it will automatically come uh, automatically all the callouts will come next is uh, values uh, sheet metal validation this is one kind of uh, cross checking whether this part can be part is to the standard or not uh, for example uh, you, you have a minimum tool clearance when you click on this select this uh, uh, parameter you will get minimum tool clearance and minimum web length wherein minimum tool clearance is uh, the distance between two features all the features should not be very close because it it, uh, it will be very difficult to uh, punch it you have to use when the features are very close you need to use very thin uh, tool to prevent that we can set these parameters here and when you do H HD 3D tools checkmate validation you can call this um, these parameters which we have set here and based on that UG will be um, UG will be doing a validation check if there is any error it will show it will uh, there will be error message next is SMD setting display this is uh, uh, the color given to each type of uh, bending parameter so uh, once you define or once you finish the product development and when you flatten it this type based on the uh, feature the edges will be 
displaying this color this is an example where this is the part which we had designed and when you do a flat pattern the uh, edges of all the features is different and it defines what type of feature it is